Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It looks like we are starting another part with a boss. <laughs> this is Acro! And this power I can tell is going to be totally useless in the second phase of this battle. So maybe what I should do is just use it to cause some damage to him if at all possible. Wow, that failed. You want to suck in the stuff, throw it back at him. It's pretty simple. And when he does that, he's going to charge at you. No big deal. And then he's going to charge at you from the background. Just watch where he's coming in from. And then he's going to slam the ground to make stuff fall on you, or at least try to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I forgot you went on that side of the screen. You keep switching sides of the screen. I should remember that. I am a bad walkthrough if I don't remember that. Well, maybe not really. <laughs> we all make mistakes. And skull head. There we go. Boop. Don't destroy my skull. There we go. Gimme, gimme. Oh, no, wait, I can't use that for this boss. Well, I could. That gives you, ow, the cutter ability, but it's not very useful in this fight. It's too slow. And rock. Come on. <laughs> rock would pretty much make you sink to your doom in the second phase of this fight. So that's why I do not recommend you have rock. And it's kind of hard to predict his movements. Because he moves up and down at random, so just grab something and shoot it forward while trying to avoid shooting it at the Gordos. No, 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 no! <sighs> Mispredicted your movements once again. Gimme- oh! Dang you! It's kind of unpredictable. Well, there's the first phase. Now here's what the second phase is like. The bottom crumbles away along with them, but he's not gone. I mean, you can tell them. Music still going. All the stuff falling down is in the background. I actually thought you had to dodge this on my first playthrough until I noticed that, you know, it wasn't actually touching me whatsoever. So this is why the rock power is useless. Because down is death. <laughs> it's essentially been turned into a bottomless pit, and we got a brand new attack pattern of his coming here. Um, you're pretty much safe on the walls, actually, believe it or not. Like if you stand or I'll swim, like right here. He can't really do much to you. <laughs> so that's what I recommend doing. See, he, he always stays, like, near the center. So you want to grab something. He shoots. Or an enemy, which whichever one. And there we go. This, in my opinion, makes the second phase a whole lot easier than the first phase because you have the element of predictability to it. That's what makes Wispy Woods such an easy boss because Wispy Woods is so easy because it's predictable in its movements. You can just tell where things are coming from. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa! Yeah! Double power! <laughs> and will it eventually stop scrolling upwards? I do believe it does, yeah. Well, once the uh, crystal shard appears. There we go! <laughs> Obviously, he couldn't do his usual salute because he was underwater, so there was a little bit something different there. Uh, nice relaxing day at the beach. Skipping rocks across the ocean. Do not anger the fish, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's going on? Panic! Wave of death! Torrential Tribute! Who played Torrential Tribute? Oh, poor Kirby. He's all washed up. Ah, portal has already appeared. Get in there, quickly! And needless to say, we're starting World 4 in this part. Neo Star! It's like a jungle slash volcano world. It's a very wild place. And theme song! Okay, you heard it for long enough. 4-1, let's get it started. Anything behind me? No, we got some really catchy music from the first level of the game. I am not complaining in the slightest. Oh, look out for these, there's pit traps here. Oh, wait, wait, what? This isn't a pit trap? There shouldn't be pit traps around here. <laughs> At least I think there should be pit traps. Well, there... Oh, okay, I see. That's an open pit trap to warn you that there could be pit traps in later areas, like maybe this? Oh, shoot. 
or maybe this yeah like that okay I just wanted to show you that some of the some of them have spikes in them but oh shoot but other others have crystal shards in them so you want to trigger the pit traps but try not to get hurt in them <laughs> you know just so that you can look inside the pit traps I also should be looking at the forest canopy I think they like to hide stuff in there I, I think there was a crystal shard somewhere in there. By the way, you can kill those pupas just by uh, cutting their web by or flying or whatever above their head. Uh, watch. See, like, they, they hang down there. They don't do anything. But if you cut their thread, yeah, just... They, oh, there we go. That's the thing that I was looking for. But yeah, that's a, that's a pretty easy way to get rid of... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I am playing this terribly. <laughs> That is a really easy way to get rid of the, um, uh, how would I, I keep screwing up my words here. Anyway, double rock here, and this is a pretty neat power. You turn into a giant boulder, but you actually are a giant walking boulder of invincibility. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty badly broken. Down here is a shard. It's the second one. I think that's the second one. Ooh, ooh, oh god. Oh god. I want that because I'm low on health. <laughs> I'm only grabbing that because I'm low on health, otherwise I wouldn't really care much about it. I played that first part absolutely atrociously, that's why I'm so low on health. <laughs> there we go. And I could, man, this this place is loaded with food. It's, it's as if they expected me to play badly. <laughs> They're like, Okay, PK Gam's coming through here. We better lay some extra food on here to turn it into easy mode. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's anything up here. Well, there's a star. But I mean, you know, in terms of secrets or crystal shards. Like, you can climb up these vines, as you can tell. Just like a ladder by pressing up and down or something like that. But there's nothing really higher up that you can do there. Um, oh shoot, don't fall off the edge, please. That would make me plummet. <laughs> uh, I should look around this area carefully. I think there is a shard somewhere in the canopy, if I recall correctly. It's not a very treacherous area. It's just a th the type of area that's easy to miss things. So I'm going to be looking up and down this area for stuff. Because you see, there's a lot of space above and below the world, and that gives you a lot of space to miss things so you must pan the camera to see everything if at all possible uh, i'm not gonna jump forward until i'm sure that i can move i mean i'm sure that i've cleared the area excuse me i can i think i'm okay now let's go to the bottom follow the stars i'm not seeing any sparklies yet mm. Am I supposed to jump down one of these things? I, I swear there is one, or maybe it's in the falling log section, which comes after this. Yeah, it's in that one. Okay, it's not in this one. Boss time, and that was pretty cool. The door is actually closed with vines, rather than just you getting locked in in general. It's pretty neat. <laughs> like, did you see how quickly they grew there? Like these off to the side here. Nice little added detail, I have to say, to the game. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, this is the part. Okay, these... Some of these fall. You gotta look for the vines themselves. If the vines look like they're a bit decayed, then you know there is... I mean, and you know it's gonna fall. Excuse me. Uh, where is... No, 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 dear lord, don't fall. <laughs> Still looking in the canopy for prizes. I hope I'm not missing it. Oh, wait, wait, I've seen it. Gotta go back. Gotta go back. <laughs> At least I think I've seen it, unless that was one of you guys. Uh, hmm. Wait a second. No? I thought I seen a shard up there. I just don't want to miss it. Yeah, maybe it was one of you. 
that confuse me. Hmm. <laughs> Aside from being silent there, I'm, I'm just a little baffled at the moment. Okay, these things are the ones that fall. Oh, there it is! I didn't miss it! Yeah! So I got all the shards now. And so it's it's not the logs that fall, it's these little stumps that are hanging in midair there. And super candy! Woo! Rocking out! Uh, just, you can pretty much even run through blocks with this power, so take advantage of it for as long as you can. And I'm avoiding that sandwich because I would like to take advantage of it. <laughs> Pudding pops gotta stay there for I need to make and take advantage of my power. Oh, I, ah, I pressed the button a little too early, didn't I? Yeah, I was misaligned. Dang it! Duh, well, I got all the shards anyway, so I guess oh, that's all that matters. Uh, I'll do one more level. Let's go! And, ooh, that's some rocket music. I thought this music only came in the volcanic areas a little bit later. Oh, oh, oh! No! Try again. <laughs> I knew there was one somewhere around there, I just didn't know where it was offhand, and yeah, that's why I was looking around there. Because I knew it was right at the start of the level, and you'd miss it otherwise. So there's a huge fissure that we're falling into here. It's time for more minecarting! Well, the other one was more like a whitewater rafting slide thing. But it, this is very similar to that white water rafting part. In fact, everything is pretty much the same. In fact, you still gotta jump over stuff like that and be on the lookout for crystal shards. Whoa, and falling to your death. No, I need to be on the upper path, don't I? Yes, that's what I thought. Okay, there's a second one. And, oh god, that was scary. I didn't see where I was dropping to. I was afraid I was going to fall into a bottomless pit or something like that. But I should know better than that. This game is very well designed. Watch for the track. Watch for the trail oh god. Just watch for any holes and rocks. This is going pretty well. Anything to jump up to in here? I think there's actually something you can get in... in oh! Inside one of those things. And... Hmm... Anything back here? No, okay. Just wanted to make sure. I wonder if I should have grabbed some enemies. I think you actually need a stone bomb power-up in this level, come to think of it. Oh, by the way, these enemies right here, completely invincible, just like Gordos. They're known as I-3s, but they're a lot like Thwomps as well. But Thwomps aren't completely invincible in on themselves, uh, so I can't say that they're totally like Thwomps. Uh, anyway, let's... Oh, shoot! I forgot you could actually do that! <laughs> I thought that that would actually hurt him if he were to pop out of there, but he actually ran... Oh, actually took damage there, wow. The meat, thank you for being floating in the air for whatever reason. I don't understand how meat floats, but yeah. <laughs> uh, do not... I was gonna say, do not knock down the shot, so you know what, I will get that one up, even though I don't need it at all. I just seen it up there and I thought it would point it out, I suppose. I did not see you there. <laughs> or I wasn't paying attention or something, one or the other. Might be because I have limited viewing angle on my screen, as I to told you before on the old CRT TVs. The very sides of the screen themselves are cut off a little bit. And, oh, this part, this, this is kind of tricky here. You've got these currents going on here. I'm gonna switch powers because my rock is not gonna be helpful here. And don't you give me something? No, you don't give me something. I thought you'd give me something. Maybe you do in other games, but not this one. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, so you got these currents that push you into enemies and cannonballs. Gotta look out for cannonballs surprising you like that and whatnot. Also, you got try and peek down the pits to see if there's anything down there as well at times. I don't think they hide it's like shards down there, but I'm pretty sure they have stuff down there uh, sometimes. Anyway, moving on. In case you didn't realize too, the uh, levels are getting a lot longer. Uh, I don't need you. So I've been uh, doing like less levels per part out of necessity basically. No! <laughs> uh, actually, you aren't... If 
Uh, if I am looking for a stone plus bomb, you aren't what I need. Oh, that was just terrible on my end. <laughs> uh, that's okay. We are good to go anyway. Even normal Kirby is pretty broken and overpowered. <laughs> Well, things consider if you look at things. And maybe these are the pits that held stuff in them at times. Because I'm pretty sure those little pits that hold enemies have stuff sometimes. It does seem to be a very Kirby-like thing for the designers to do. And you don't give anything, do you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nothing down there? Hmm. Eh. I feel obligated to check those things just because I think there is something hidden in these things sometimes. <laughs> well, other than the occasional star, I suppose. Eh. Oh, dang it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna show. As long as I'm here, I'm gonna combine these two. Oh, shooty shoot! <laughs> See, he has the spark power, and I was gonna combine them to show you what that does. It's a really cool power. Oh, I can actually show here. Okay, don't throw. Well, I guess you can throw just as long as you don't collide. Watch us. Lightsaber! <laughs> Very cool power, and you're actually going to need this to get into... Oh! You're actually going to need this to get into uh, a thing later on in a factory level. You'll see what I mean later. Uh... Yeah, I think that is Stone Bomb, as I thought. The reason why I remember that was because it makes a really, really powerful power that I'm going to be showing you shortly, but the, the end of the level is right here. Well, after this boss. It's not really so much a boss as it is a um, wipe out all the enemies sort of room, if you can count this as being a boss. This power is pretty good for this. <laughs> Just saying... And, oh, it continues on. I thought this was in another, another level, actually, this section here. Be careful of getting squished, obviously. Uh, you can't float when you're using this power, so that's kind of a problem. <laughs> Had to sneeze. <laughs> Had to be done. See, I told you those allergies are acting up. <laughs> Some unexpected continuity there. <laughs> Ah, oh, dang it. I don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> what up? And I don't remember. Did I get. Oh, dang it. Hold on a sec. As they say, nature calls. <laughs> but that was kind of in a different context than what they mean by nature calls in most cases. But I had to blow my nose because I was getting all stuffy because of those sneeze. The sneezing spell. Oh yeah, I got it. I totally got it. Now, how, how the well did I did? Oh, I did miss that one. I, I thought I um, may have missed the one along the way, but I just miscounted. Excuse me. So, I need a rock and bomb, or well, stone and bomb power up. So I'll see you when I get that, I suppose. All right, now that I have this power. I can give you a little demonstration on how it works. This is one of the more dangerous powers in the game. Oh, I forgot the minecart segment is first, so maybe I'll wait and to show you, you know, when I get to the platforming segment. But basically, this is the only power in the game that can actually damage you. Yeah, it, it makes a giant stick of TNT, if, well not a giant stick of TNT, but it makes a large enough stick of TNT up here that uh, uh, it actually manages to be a power that damages you, but if you hold down on the control pad, you can actually protect yourself from that damage. But it's a really interesting power to use because of the fact that it's one of the few powers that can actually hurt you. It's kind of like Pichu is being shot by their own electricity. <laughs> something like that. I still get the feeling that there might be something hidden up here. like. Like where I can't see in that jumping segment. Alright, let's demonstrate the power here by getting through this segment. Watch us. See this? And it's got a huge range too. See? It hurts. But, if you put on a hard hat by pressing down, you'll be protected. A very interesting power indeed. And you're going to have to use it to get through this section. So, oh, I uncovered my head 
far too quickly. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Oh, shoot. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, those black uh, dark matter spidery enemies are known as Mariels. And, uh, like, the ones that you've seen on the track along the way in here, uh, if you attempt to suck them in, you will actually be hurt by them. Yeah, it's an enemy that is actually a trap if you attempt to inhale them. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. No! And you are a pain, aren't you? <laughs> and it's it's kind of bad, this power, because you if you don't hit an enemy with it, you have to wait until it explodes. Otherwise, you can't throw another one, so don't miss with it. Otherwise, you'll be pretty vulnerable. Just so I would mention that, aside from your uh, sliding power, of course. Whee! But I mean, otherwise, you don't have the destructive force that you have with this. Anyway, I'm going to see you by that wall now that you uh, understand the use of this power. Alright, here we are. And I forgot to show you another neat little trick with, that you can do with this power. If you miss something, I forgot you can... Knock it into enemies if you would like to. Oh wow, that explosion is really huge. But yeah, that's what you need to get this shard, and I'll see you at the end of the level. Oh wow. Card... Yeah, I got it. And with that, I'm going to end off the part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.